Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're going to be assembling and reviewing the Pro Gear race seat from Traction. One of the most used tools in my garage is a roller seat that I use when I'm either working on the bike down low or maybe I'm just washing and detailing my car. I use one of these roller seats all the time. It's one of the best, handiest tools you can have. Recently, Traction Engineered Products sent me one of their Pro Gear racing seats to test and review for this video. Now, they did send me this seat, but they're not paying for the video, and they have no say in the video. So this is not a sponsored video, and they won't see the video until it's complete. But I want to thank Traction for sending me this seat. This is the work seat that I've been using for the past several years. It's a big red from a company called Torin. You've probably seen these online or in stores. They're about 25 bucks. You'll notice I have larger wheels on mine. I replaced the little wimpy casters that come with that uh, seat with the five inch casters to give it a little more stability. So the seat comes in this single box. It's uh, very well packaged. Everything seems to be pretty secure. There's a small kind of a promotional sheet. And then the large red plastic tool tray is the first thing I took out, followed by the pneumatic piston. The frame comes out next. This is what the casters will mount to, and the seat, of course, sits on top of it. And then the large vinyl seat comes out next. In the bottom of the box, there's a small bag with a wrench and uh, installation instructions and also the bag containing all of the five casters. The five inch casters mount with the uh, 14 millimeter bolt and a lock nut, and they feel like they're kind of a hard plastic. They don't really feel like rubber, uh, but they obviously do have ball bearings. The seat is pretty large and feels to be very well padded. It's uh, entirely covered in vinyl. The first step is to install the five casters onto the frame as I'm doing here. I'm using a 14 millimeter wrench to tighten the lock nuts. Next, I insert the piston into the frame as shown. The plastic tool tray is next. It just slips right over the piston. The only thing remaining is to lower the seat down on top of the exposed portion of the piston. And you'll notice a handle that allows you to raise and lower that pneumatic piston. When you look at the two seats side by side, you can see there's a big difference. The Pro Gear seat from Traction is much more substantial. To demonstrate the tool tray, I went ahead and just threw a few random tools down there to show you how it works. Now, one thing is the seat is very comfortable when you're sitting in it. It's got good padding. You can, of course, raise or lower it a few inches. And I love the fact that you can spin this tool tray to get to the exact tool you need. And it's a large enough tray where it really holds a lot of stuff. Kind of makes a tool cart unnecessary. And those five casters seem to be very, very stable. Now it's time for a head-to-head -head competition on how these seats react when you back over a cord. I do this all the time in my garage when I'm working, and that Torin seat dumps me on my ass almost every time. I've got a battery tender cable, which is kind of a, like a lamp cord, and then I have a thicker, uh, it's kind of like an extension cord, thicker gauge cable. We're going to see how these two seats react when you back over them. Because when you're moving around your garage, you just never know when you're going to have a cable laying around or a tool or something, you're going to hit it. First, I'm going to start with the Torin seat and the battery tender cable. And it does, with those 5-inch casters, it does roll over that cable uh, pretty easily. Now, let's try the new Pro Gear seat. With those 5 casters, it shouldn't be a problem. But now look what happens when we try the extension cord. Yep, it's, I've had that happen many a time. 
all the tools come out of the seat. I end up on my ass. Now you know why I'm wearing my motorcycle jacket to perform this test. And in spite of that, I still ended up injuring my wrist. The Pro Gear seat kind of sticks on the cable. It doesn't really roll over it initially, it, but it does alert you to that it's there, and it certainly has no tendency to tip over and cause a fall. Now, this seat has some really nice stitching, and I'm hoping that that stitching holds up over time. I'll have to do a follow-up review after a few months to let you know how this stitching holds up. There's also a really nice handle built into the back of the seat so you can very easily uh, pick the whole seat up and carry it to another part of the garage if you need to. You can buy this Pro Gear race seat from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. I think I'm going to like it.